What is up everyone? How's everyone doing? Flex, flex. Damn. And I just hit my hand against the wall. Okay guys, today I want to talk about something I'm super passionate about, which are my Minnesota Vikings. Because as some of you know, they are 5-0 at the moment. So they're kicking butt, they're taking names, and it's just, it's an exciting year to be a Vikings fan. And we're just going to go over their schedule, how they do, um, their roster, kind of in a way but here first things first what I want to say is the Vikings are without their quarterback Teddy Bridgewater they are without Adrian Peterson for in last week's game against the Houston Texans four of the five O linemen were second string like people so what does that say about our team? It's very well-rounded. Like, we have good depth. We have great depth. And I think a lot of teams and, like, people, I guess, are, like, downgrading the Vikings when they just, they don't know what they're capable of. Now, the defense, our defense carries the team. Like, they, the standard they have is beyond anything, like, probably most teams have. They are, the offense manages the game, except last week they put up quite a bit of points, 31 to 13. But then again, Marcus Sherrill's always returning that touchdown though. Gosh, that kid, he is so fast, he's so quick and shifty, he can take it all the way anytime. He now has five career punt returns for a touchdown, so that's pretty neat. And yeah, so the upcoming week is a bye week, but... Okay, week one, we went against Tennessee, and we started out really slow. We had Hill, we had AP at the time, and Diggs was just, Stephon Diggs, he was just, like, getting started. So we went in, we won 25-16, and we didn't throw the ball that much. We didn't run, whoa, we ran terrible that game. I was kind of freaked out. We had 31 rushing yards, and our highest receiver total was Diggs with 103. So it was a super slow game, but you want to know what we got past that? I didn't know how Sam Bradford was going to do, but we put him in the game, and oh, he, that kid can play. Once we win against Green Bay, which Green Bay, they were just focused on stopping AP, and I think that's why they went in and lost. Also, because like our defense, it had eight sacks that game. It had three picks, I believe. It had quite, it just, it caused the ball to get turned over. And that's why we won that game. Carolina, we went in, we scored quite a bit, and we held um, Cam Newton. He couldn't throw on us. We stopped him, we had that mission, and we went and did it. And then New York, I don't know what's going on with them, but they are falling apart now. But that might have something to do with the fact that they played the Minnesota Vikings, which when we went against them, <clears throat> their usual highest receiver, um, oh, oh, Odell, he had 23 total yards. We completely shut him down, and Eli just had no answer for it. So it was a great game. And then Houston, oh my gosh, we took off on offense. Like, that was awesome. I was really happy about that. We could have had more rushing yards, but we managed the game well. And like I said, the defense with Harrison Smith, Sandejo, he's not getting enough credit, I think, but he's doing a great job. And then our D-line, Everson Griffin, we got Limbell, Joseph, Sharif Floyd, and then Robertson, and then also a young fella, Daniel Hunter, or Danelle Hunter, I don't know how to say his name. But yeah, they're just kicking butt and taking names. Like, it's an exciting year to be a Viking. So, how far can they go? Honestly, I'm looking at their schedule, and I don't see a loss. The only thing I can see is probably Dallas. That'll be a difficult game. Um, Green Bay, that'll be, that'll be a hard game. At Lambeau Field, especially with those conditions. But then again, we were born with those conditions, I guess. So, I don't know. I feel super excited about it. And it's a great year to be a Viking. How far do you guys think they can go in the playoffs? Do you think they're going to make it to the Super Bowl? I don't want to kid myself too far, but I think they could definitely do it. And something that ESPN um, 
uh, like news people, they're like, they haven't played anyone. Bull crap. I mean, Tennessee is a pretty solid team. Green Bay, it has Aaron Rodgers, which he's he's a legend. That kid, he's a Super Bowl quarterback. And then Carolina, last year, uh, Super Bowl contenders. I mean, yeah, they fell apart this year, but I mean, whatever. Um, New York, they're they are falling apart. Houston, decent team. But yeah, it's not like they're not playing anyone. And something you have to take into account is the fact that they are professionals. They're professional athletes. So it's not like they're playing college athletes. Therefore, give them the props because all these people get paid to play. So yeah, it's just ridiculous. Some of the excuses that come out. But yeah, the Vikings are a solid team and I definitely think they can win the division. If they do, I actually win 30 bucks. So that's pretty awesome. I could definitely use that. But yeah, guys, comment. Let me know what you think about those Vikings, though, because they are they're taking the league by storm. But yeah, guys, you have a great